What's up guys? I've been a bit naughty today. I've had no time to record any vlog and it is 5.30 in the evening. Uh, me and Jade are just going out to grab something to eat. Um, but yeah, I've got to apologise. I've just had zero time today to uh, record any vlog. The Dell man turned up today to go and repair the broken discs on the server that I've been telling you guys about and a whole bunch of other stuff as well so I've just had zero time whatsoever but as you can see it's an absolutely beautiful day out the temperature is reading somewhere in the region of about 20 degrees Celsius uh, it's absolutely gorgeous so we thought we would uh, take advantage and head out for a early dinner in the sun I'm not quite sure where we're going to go but hopefully uh, the weather will continue to stay nice throughout the early evening and uh, we can head over there. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this before as well either but uh, from when I was really really young right up until just a few years ago I was always a very very keen uh, fisherman mainly carp in the summer pike in the uh, winter and uh, over the last few years I, uh, one reason or another I've just not had time to uh, go fishing mainly since uh, George has been born really but I am now looking to get back into fishing and go spend some days out fishing hopefully take George with me uh, Jade and, and, and just have some nice days out really fishing by the river or the lake so today I spoke to my cousin Gareth oh a big shout out to Gareth actually my favorite cousin because <laughs> um, I know Gareth watches the vlog sometimes and uh, yeah, I spoke to Gal today. Me and Gal used to go fishing all the time. We used to literally go all the time. Uh, and then like, we kind of both had children and it all had to sort of slow down. So I've spoke to Gal and we're gonna uh, pick a day and go fishing uh, of a weekend in the not too distant future. Jade's gonna come with us on the first one. And then hopefully after that, I'll be able to kind of take George with me once I've got my sort of uh, hand back into it again. And I've just picked up uh, all of the, uh, sorry, I'm just going to pick up tonight all of my fishing stuff from my parents' house because I've left it all in their shed. So I've got like my uh, three Shimano rods that I absolutely loved, uh, my three Shimano bait runner reels that I loved, uh, all my bite alarms, all my bags, cases, uh, rigs, all of that kind of stuff. Nets, weighing scales, tables, uh, sleeping bags, beds, uh, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go and pick all that up later, take it home and give it all a good clean up and hopefully within the next sort of three or four weeks, Gal's going to give me a ring back and tell me uh, what day and where we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go out fishing so you'll get a day uh, vlogging by the lake, hopefully catching some monster carp. So I've just got back from picking up my fishing gear and um, I've got no idea if my bite alarms and stuff will still work and I'm sure things have moved on years and years since I went fishing but I am now clearing out all of my fishing stuff uh, Got me, even got my old net look, hanging up there ground sheet got the uh, unhooking mat over there all sorting itself out Let me wipe this out. yeah the old unhooking mat drying out over there because that literally stunk of fish got my sleeping bag over there all my other bits and pieces, my rod bags over there all bent over because I've just washed it. And the only thing I've got to go back and get another time is my rods because I couldn't fit them in my car. So I'll have to get them another time. But other than that, I think I'm ready to rock and roll. And in fact, it'd be interesting from you guys to who go fishing, because I know loads of you will, to tell me in the comments just how much things have moved on from a bite alarm point of view. Can you get apps and stuff now that set off the app alarm on your phone and all that kind of stuff? I'd really like to know. Let me know in the comments. Now that is all done. Me and Jade are going to go out for a nice leisurely ride on our bikes, which I'm quite looking forward to. I don't really know what headphones to try out on this ride. I've never tried over ear ones, but then maybe that's not kind of hygienic when you're sweating and stuff, I guess. So I suppose I'll try out some in-ear ones. But yeah, looking forward to going out. It still looks extremely nice, the weather outside. As you can see, nice blue skies. So yeah, definitely time to take the bike out. Oh, what a sight it is. <laughs> Come on faster. You're cutting a serious slipstream. <laughs> huh? video in there oh. <laughs> uh, so Jade and I have just got back from our bike ride as you can see we are absolutely exhausted now we are just uh, chilling out in the garden for a little while trying to cool down 
having a nice drink. I know mine does say Stella Artois, which for those of you who don't know is a is a lager or a beer. Uh, but I'm drinking orange juice because I'm far too hardcore to be drinking alcohol. Teddy's irritating the hell out of me. And yeah, it's really ending on a beautiful day. The sun is directly in front of us and it will probably come down just over there. So we should enjoy a nice sunset as well. Anyway guys, that is it. Oh no, one more thing I was going to tell you. I just got an email from Motorola inviting me to their event uh, for the launch of their new smartphone. So this new Moto X Plus or whatever it is, uh, is definitely coming out. It was either May the 13th or May the 23rd. I just put it up on Instagram and stuff, so uh, check that out. But yeah, that sounds fairly interesting. But anyway, guys, that is it from me. That is also it from... Me. <laughs> well done. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah, well done. Good girl. <laughs>